Business owners say it's a dangerous intersection. We spoke with one man who says he paid out of pocket decades ago to put the lights in after seeing several crashes. Now he's fighting to save them. During peak hours, it's just, it's very dangerous. That's why area business owner Dale Slonico put these signs up pleading the lights be kept on. It's just very sad. It's heartbreaking, really, to tell you the truth. Last month, the city of Omaha announced plans for a $35 million traffic signal upgrade plan. 1,000 lights currently using outdated technology. Phase A looked at 200 signals, finding four did not meet federal criteria to stay up. One of them is the light at 120th and Arbor. We've seen multiple accidents. We've seen vans on top or flipped over. Right now, city traffic engineers are studying what kind of impact taking the signal out would have on traffic and on safety. It will blink for 45 days, then be covered up for another 45 days. Other area business owners hope the city reconsiders taking the light down. Seeing some of these accidents or even some of these near misses, it's just, uh, it's kind of a recipe for, for disaster. Numerous accidents uh, have occurred uh, in this intersection with a light, um, and I, I can't think what would happen without one. Reporting in Omaha, Sarah Feely, KTV News Watch 7.